How you doing friends? Dallas here with Privateer Press. And last time, we made this skin and bones teeth and bone weapons look that much more realistic and creepy. Today, we're gonna add a few last details to make this guy look like he's ready to torment your enemies. So, let's get started. To get started, we're gonna paint all the stitches on our skin and bone. This will bring all these out. Now you don't need to do this for tabletop, but to give it that extra pop, this is gonna look really great. So the very first thing is some Thamar Black. And I'm just gonna spoodle that out with my trusty old crusty brush. Crusty. And sharpen that point, cause you're gonna need a nice sharp point for this part. I'm just gonna paint Thamar Black over each stitch. And I'm not being precise, I'm just getting some black on there just to make those stitches pop out and just go. Just use the tip, let the paint and the brush do the work. And remember to loosen the paint with a little touch of water, get that brush sharp. So there's a lot of these. So of course this is where the patience part of our patience practice perseverance comes in. So like usually when I'm painting, I like having a movie in the background. So kind of let your brain just kind of float off and listen to the movie while you're doing this part of the work. Cause I'm not really thinking about a technique or philosophy of light and shadow or color theory. I'm just painting a bunch of stitches. So that's why you need a movie or a podcast or music to go on in the background, just to kind of entertain your brain. All right, to highlight, we're just gonna take some underbelly blue. We're gonna mix a little bit of this in with some Thamar Black. So let's do one drop of underbelly. One drop of Thamar. Go one up. So two drops underbelly, one drop Thamar. That looks like a good highlight color. Load your brush, give it a twist, sharpen the point. Make sure it's not pouring out. And we're just gonna touch the tops of each stitch very carefully so that black shines around it. And this just lets all those little stitches pop out. And just real quickly, give each one a highlight. And that blue helps it stand out against that red and the browns of the skin. It's a little bit of contrast in the temperature version of contrast. There's, as we've talked before, there's multiple types of contrast. And this is more of a temperature contrast. So you have the cool blue against the hot red. It just helps them stand out. I'm going really fast. Being precise, but quick. Because if you mess up, you can fix a mistake. Not a big deal. And sometimes just, you won't even see the mistake. And since we have the color and these are black, we're gonna go ahead and just put some thin lines to highlight these straps. Very quickly, just give the impression of some highlight on some cloth. All right, the stitches are done. And it's time to move on to the eyes. For this, we're gonna simply take some murderous magenta we're gonna paint his eye, which was already painted with our mouth white highlight. We're just gonna paint that murderous magenta over the eyes. Now we're gonna take some carnal pink. We're gonna dot the center of the eyes, leaving a little bit of that murderous magenta showing. That looks 
looks pretty good. Now, as soon as that's dry, we're gonna take some piggy purple ink. I just need a drop of this. I'm gonna wet my brush, grab a little dot of this. We're gonna ink over this eye. Let that get in the recesses. I don't want it to gum up too much, so I'm gonna pull a little bit of that off with a wet brush. A little bit should shine through, but we're gonna take it back to our carnal pink and give it a little dot. Just a little highlight. Right in the center to give it that intensity. And if you want, you can grab a little murderous magenta. And catch the sides. Just add a little color back in there. There we go. Demonic. So Skin and Bones is looking pretty cool right now, but I really feel like there's one more thing he needs to just really make him just, just the ultimate and the macabre. And that's some blood splatter on the bones. So I pulled out Scorn Red, but that's too dull. Let's kick it up with some Kato Red base. So we're gonna use a little bit of this. And this is like your preference. This is gonna be your preference on how rich this becomes. So mix to your own desired effect on this one. I'm gonna just add a drop or two of mixing medium. That'll just help with the translucency of the, uh, of the blood, of the gore, the viscera. I'm gonna start adding Thamar Black to this. And I'm just gonna choose how, how black, how much black I put in here as I go. The more black, the more old the blood looks. The less black, the more fresh it looks. But I like something right in the middle. Gives it some nice contrast against the bone. Let's it stand out. And that looks pretty good. Nice, gross looking red. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna load up your brush. With this, see how wet it is? It's very loose. You're just gonna get some of this on an old crappy brush. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna put the brush right in front of the bone weapon here. And I'm gonna make a p p sound, not spit, but just a pop with my, with my breath, very quickly, very sharp. I'm gonna aim this, because I don't want the blood on him very much. Just line it up, get it where you want. With the spooky eyes and the bloody swords, this dude is ready to terrorize your opponent. Our model was ready for the table. But with these extra couple of steps, we've made a magnificently macabre beast that will haunt your opponent's dreams. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and some additional information on the P3 Hobby line. I was like, I've said this a billion times. You have no idea how many times I've said this, people. The words haunt me. They are my nightmares.